Good morning, everyone. Um, that was very impressive. I will not talk about zombies or apocalypse, but I will prepare. I remember weapons and cardio. Um, my name is Jörg Liebel. I'm head of innovation, and I will talk about when testing meets innovation. Um, I'm with Evosoft. We are the platinum partner of um, HUSDEV, and I would like to say thank you for the invitation and thank you for the great venue and the great organization. Um, we as Evosoft, we are the biggest Hungarian software R&D center. We have 1,600 colleagues and 1,000 of them are in testing. This is our new HQ, still in, uh, in building phase at the beautiful river of Danube. And we have two other branches in Seged and Mishkols. We are 100% owned by Siemens, and you can find them also there on the plate. And we are mainly in industry automation, um, healthcare business, uh, car, e-car business, and also in the area of um, cloud computing. What I would like to talk today is about the challenges we see as Evosoft in the area of software testing. It's time and costs, definitely. Uh, the product life cycles are shrinking. So even in a very traditional business like automotive we are in, um, example, the VW Golf, the first one, has a lifespan of 10 years, one decade. In these days, a car has less than three years that gives a lot of pressure on the testing of software. And this problem will get bigger and bigger every year. So when you have time problems, you also have cost issues. And this is management attention. And sometimes you don't like management attention. I can show you that. Um, new technologies. Well, everyone is talking about artificial intelligence, cloud computing. These things were a decade ago more research on a um, university more or less, today you have to understand it. You have to implement it. Your customers will do this and your competitors. If you don't understand it, you will be out of the business soon. Number three, system boundaries. One example, um, when a train in Germany comes closer to a red signal, there are six different systems in interaction with each other across language boundaries, across um, system plates, across different uh, boundaries which are hindering also the testing to have a system test uh, which is easy going over all these boundaries and this will also go worse here in the future definitely and last not least the impact of a missing bug some years ago there was a Toyota having this issue with a sticky pedal uh, they paid over one billion dollars in these days you have issues like the Boeing 737 which is known there are more than hundreds of billions of dollars jeopardized. So if you as a tester miss a bug, you can ruin your company or a competitor's company or your own company, or you can even jeopardize human beings' lives. And this is, of course, beyond every, every financial risk. So the question is how to deal with these challenges. And we as Evosoft have a concept, an innovation concept, and uh, the core of the idea is use the innovative power of your people. The people in your company are your biggest assets. You can make use of them. And in order to do this, you need a concept which is um, supporting this. And we developed an innovation concept called ICE, Innovation Center at Evosoft, and it contains of four cornerstones. Number one is um, an online platform for interaction where the people upload their ideas. There is communication regarding that. There are challengers who said the idea will not work due to these restrictions. And there is a communication ongoing. And this makes the idea better. Number two is a simple and transparent process. In former times, you have an idea. You told maybe your boss, and you didn't get a reaction for weeks, maybe. Uh, you will think a second time twice if you do ever tell him something again. So you always need to know, where is my idea in this moment? What is the support I get, and what is the next step? Number three is the management support. Uh, we call it walk the talk. It's always, everyone says in important meetings, yeah, the key is definitely innovation. We need this. But the real point is when it comes to budget, time, and support that they really let you do 
innovation projects. And the last one is the communication. We have a very sophisticated communication concept with blog articles, posters, videos, uh, emails to bring the people again and again on the platform because that is then the interaction that we need and that works very well. So the question is, um, after two years having this concept of innovation, is that a success, yes or no? And I'm a head of innovation, I have to say yes, of course, but I can back this up with some numbers. So um, more than 600 colleagues are involved in innovation projects at Evosoft. So if you have three of us in a room, at least one of them are a part of the project. Um, more than 300 ideas are online and in the development stage. Some of them are testing related, but I'll come to this in a minute. 50 ideas are now finalized or coming close to finalization, and 15 of them we already sold to our customers. I think this is a impressive numbers um, that shows that the concept is working, and this is definitely the future. You need innovation to tackle the future challenges. Um, as promised, here are some success stories from the area of testing. As I said, we are 1,000 testers, so a lot of the ideas are out of the testing business or testing area. Um, number one is, we call it learning test automat, is uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, but you guys heard so much about it, so I will not go here into detail, and there are much more experts uh, in the room as me, definitely. Um, but the idea shows us that in the first tests, we got 10 times quicker in testing. And this is a test set from um, healthcare business, 50,000 test cases, taking one day of testing, we shrink it by 10, and this is only the beginning of it. We are now pre-checking it with other industries as well, industry automation, and we will also try it with automotive testing, and then it's definitely a candidate for implemented. Um, these are two ideas from the area of continuous testing. I think it's definitely also a very important um, trend, and it's a nice example because the colleagues read somewhere about um, tools that we are not using at Evosoft. And they said, oh, I would like to give it a try. Put the idea online on our platform, we finance it, and they now have um, solutions for memory, leak detection, and CPU load monitoring. And the last one is regarding human factor. Um, of course, everyone is talking about the technologies um, which will be the future, like AI, but the human factor on a daily business is really a big one because even at Evosoft, and we are a highly digitalized company, there's a lot of Excel copy-paste going on, uh, emails being written, communication going on, and where are humans, there can be mistakes. So these two ideas are from an international platform that we are developing, and they could, um, with only one idea, which they need only 80 hours for developing or coding, they save 600 hours of copy-pasting and communication between um, the colleagues on an international base. So it's a good example. It's not only the um, big strategy where you have to go. You have to look on the um, low-hanging fruits because in companies there's a lot of low-hanging fruits where you can save a lot of money, time, and speed and costs. So um, this brings me to my last um, slide. Um, I talked about the challenges and now it's a question how we can deal with these challenges. And um, two of the ideas are resonating, it's not my idea, but two of the points are resonating with the page before, which is um, artificial intelligence and continuous testing. We at Evosoft already started to implement these functionalities. And um, the third one is um, digital twin. We have a team of system testers, um, 200 plus people, and they have 70 tons of hardware. Every second day, there is a new DHL truck bringing new boxes to them. So even in a digitalized century with cloud computing and internet and everything, you still have hardware because at the end, you test software for the hardware. In the future, this will change and it will go to a digital twin testing. We also started projects there. So the question is how you can implement this into your daily work, into your teams, into your company and this brings me again to our concept, and as I said, it works for us. It will work definitely also for you. Use the innovative power of your people. Thank you.